Hi, I'm Keegan and this is Edgar and we are going to be reading you the book Molly Goes to Sydney from the series Molly and the Magic Suitcase. It is written by Chris Oler and illustrated by Amy Houston Oler. Molly Goes to Sydney. Hi, I'm Molly and this is my brother Michael. The world is full of amazing people and cultures. We love learning about new music, food, and games. There are always new places and things to discover. When we're curious, we grab our magic suitcase and go. Hey Michael, what are you doing? I'm pretend surfing. There's a surfing competition on TV and it looks like fun. I've always wanted to try it. Where's the competition? It's in Sydney, Australia. Why don't we go check it out? Yeah, that's a great idea. What do you know about Sydney, Molly? Not much, except it's supposed to have some great beaches. Where do we start? I read that Manly Beach was a good one. We'll start there. Here we go. Here we are, Michael. Good day, mate. Snag from the Barbie. Um, what? Do you want a snag? We're having a barbecue. Sure, I'm Molly and this is Michael. What's a snag? I'm Wesley and it sounds like you must be American. Welcome to Sydney. A snag is a sausage and you can eat it on its own or in bread. We want to try surfing, Wesley. Want to be a shark biscuit, eh? We better stick to land for a bit since we just ate. I'll show you how to play my favorite sport, cricket. I play baseball some. What are the differences, Wesley? That's a big question, Michael. But basically, instead of three outs per team in an inning, there are 10. Cricket has more ways to score runs too, and more ways to make outs. Two people bat at a time, and while they're trying to hit the ball, they also have to protect the wicket. The wicket? Yeah, that's the thing, like a base. If I hit the wicket while the ball is in play, then it's an out. Uh-oh, I better get back. Good on you, Michael. Nice move. Eddie, come here. Do you like this book so far? Yeah, he does. Hey, great job, your first time out. You got up. Whoa, it all happened so fast. Once you do it for a while, Molly, it slows down. Do you surf much, Wesley? When we come to the beach, but like I said, cricket is what I really like. There's some beaches close to here you have to see. Where are we, Wesley? This is one of the rock pools of North Curl Curl. Some pools, like this one, are part natural and part man-made. It's usually a good, safe place to swim. You like it, buddy? <laughs> this is Shelly Beach, a popular place to snorkel. Michael and I went snorkeling in Puerto Rico. This is just as beautiful. The reef has so much life. There are turtles in there and fish, they're so pretty. <laughs> He's really liking the book. We have incredible wildlife in Australia. This is the Learbird. Those feathers are really neat, Wesley. Kind of like a peacock. You're right, Michael. The feathers are neat, and you can see what they do with them on our 10 cent coin. But the really cool and unique thing about our Learbird is the sounds it makes and imitates. Like what? It imitates car alarms and horns, chainsaws, dogs, all kinds of things. There are recordings of it online. This is Luna Park. It's been here for ages, ever since they finished the coat hanger. The coat hanger? Yeah, that's what we call the Sydney Harbor Bridge. That gate is a little scary. <laughs> I guess you just get used to it. So this is Luna Bob and Luna Bell, the park mascots. Why all the huge faces, Wesley? It's supposed to be the faces of people on rides. They're all big smiles and sometimes shouting or screaming. Now I get it. 
and the hair too. We'll cross the harbor next and get a look at the city. You mean we're not in the city now? This is Sydney. We call, just call the downtown part with all the tall buildings, the city. <laughs> ah, right, pirates. Everyone loves the tall ships in Sydney Harbor. You can watch the pirate show and even climb the mast. Are there a lot of pirate stories from here, Wesley? I haven't heard many, but I know there are a few stories of convicts stealing ships. They used to send many of the convicts here from England. Really? Oh yeah. Australia was a penal colony where they sent criminals to get them out of the UK and elsewhere. Let's learn history later. Sword fight. This is awesome. Molly, we're part of the pirate crew. Arr, keep your wits about ye land lovers. What did he say? I don't know. I'm learning a lot of new English today, Michael. <laughs> he really likes the book. He's learning a lot about Sydney. This is the circular quay area. What's that instrument, Wesley? It's called a didgeridoo. Didgeridoo? Wow, we've seen musical instruments all over the world, but nothing like this. It's part of the Aboriginal culture, Michael, the native population of Australia. Some say they arrived here more than 40,000 years ago. What's that curved stick, Wesley? That's a boomerang, of course. It's another part of Aboriginal culture that people know all around the world. This is another thing people know all around the world, Wesley, the Sydney Opera House. Most places we visit, we're not sure what we'll see. This place, I can't believe I'm here. Good on you, Molly. You've said that before, what does it mean? It means good job or well done. It's fun to hear someone say something like that about our city. Whoa, those are some big sharks. Do you see how big those are, Eddie? They're really big. Oh yeah, those are the gray nurse sharks. They're not the biggest we have around here. Wait, what sharks are bigger? Oh, I thought you probably knew great white sharks are around. Most shows that film them take place in Australia or South Africa. We have loads of them, and with the Great Barrier Reef not too far, we get a lot of tropical fish. That's a big shark. I was hoping we'd see kangaroos, but to get to play with them is so cool. I think the Sea Life Aquarium we were where we just were and the Wildlife Zoo where we are now try to get people closer to animals. What's next? Koalas are next, of course, and quokas and enchendas. Thanks for bringing us here, Wesley. What a great experience. No worries, Molly. Out in the bush, you couldn't get this close. You mean out in the wild, don't you? Now you're getting it, Michael. You enjoying it? Yeah? <laughs> We're still around Circular Quay and probably the best food you can find in Sydney. Tell us what to get, Wesley. All right, Molly, you need to have a hamburger with beetroot. It's an Aussie thing. Hmm, that sounds good. I'm having crab legs. The thing about crab legs here, though, is they might not be crab at all. It's often fish made up like crab meat. What about me? Michael, you get lamingtons. It's our unofficial national cake. There's a layer of chocolate and a layer of coconut on them. Doesn't that sound good, Eddie? That sounds good, doesn't it? No. <laughs> Come here, bud. <laughs> Just one more stop, Wesley. Then we need to go home. Right, Molly. 
I think this is a good place to finish. We're in the middle of the city and this is the Chinese Friendship Garden. It's beautiful and so peaceful. And like you said, right in the middle of the busy city. The city of Guangzhou in China is Sydney's sister city. Someone there designed this for us. China, eh? Hmm. Thanks again, Wesley. We'd love to come back sometime. Anytime, mates. Let's keep in touch. Edgar, come here. We're almost done with the book. Eddie. <laughs> the beaches were great, Michael. Sydney is just a little different. It's a good different, Molly. Definitely. And I liked learning English. Huh. I bet we only learned a little bit of how they talk down under, Michael. I mean, we've been to the beach here. It's the same, but a little different, just like Puerto Rico. You can find people everywhere that are a little or a lot like us. And learning about the differences and where they live and what they do is a part of what makes traveling fun. The end. Edgar, come here. Eddie! Edgar, come. Come. Come say goodbye. Yep, come here. Come here, buddy. Come say goodbye. <laughs> well, Edgar and I say goodbye, and we hope you enjoyed the book just as much as we did. Bye.